Hi friends! Today we're going to be planning for the week of February 24th to March 1st in my HB90 reading and writing planner. It is time to remove these babies from their beautiful blue discs and plan another week. This week I will be using the Dream Seeker sticker book. I think I'm just going to be using this one. I don't think I'll need anything besides this one, but if I do, I will pull from the stash. But I'm going to try to just use this one book rather than jumping around to a bunch of different ones. This is actually a Christmas gift. Today I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try talking through what I'm doing and just talk about some things that are going on, like with my writing process, and maybe do a little less fast forwarding, but we'll see what happens because, you know, it ends up being like 30 minutes long. So hopefully that is not the case today. I did already look through here and kind of know what I want to use and what I want to do. So that part at least shouldn't be too bad. I like the sticker book. I really enjoy the colors of it, but I'm not the biggest fan of some of the feathers. They're kind of weird. They have a lot of like speckled camouflaginess to them that I'm not in love with. But like that itself is pretty, but some of the stuff back here, these are just kind of weird to me. They're not my favorite thing ever. These feathers, again, it was a present and I like 90% of what's in here. These, so this week, actually, the Happy Planner released their spring line of planners and they are actually going to be doing a bookish planner. It is the horizontal style so it's just like it's kind of like this that's lined but it's a full page is each day so not my type of planner at all but if you are a bookish person and you like reading bookish things it may be a good reading journal like I use my smaller reading journal for. If you have not seen my reading journal video, I will link that in the description box below for you as well as on the cards. It would be a good way to use that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the colors in that, but I may, I haven't fully decided. They have a happy notes as well as the planner. So it's just like the regular lined pages. And I might get that because that would be really cool for actually working on plots and things and I, the other would be good for plotting as well. I really love, as you guys have been told a million times, I really love the Happy Planner because it is so easy to just add things to them or take things out or make it work for you and for what works best for your situation. If you are not already following either Ginger Reed Slaney or Heart Breathings, which I'm sure you are if you're here because they are way bigger channels than I am. But if you are not, I highly recommend you check them out because they both use Happy Planner stuff and they show a lot of different ways to use the planners. Lainey did a couple of planner videos recently that are great. She did a lot of tweaking to her system so that she could make it work for her and I really liked that. It was definitely an interesting video to watch. A couple of videos, I guess I should say, because there was more than one of them. I really enjoyed those. I'm trying to use different styles of stickers this week versus like last week I think I just did the same sticker on each block of days that I know I have things going on and again I'm, I'm marking off typical days that people do sprints but um, Wednesday is a book club night. Saturday is actually um, me and my friends are getting together and doing a big, um, I'm going to be a fifth wheel in a giant group date, basically. Um, but I want to make sure I put that on here so I don't plan anything for Saturday evening writing wise, because I do know that I will have that going on and I'm very excited to get to that. Uh, so I guess we're going to go to this side and continue talking about happy planner things and writing things. The other thing about the bookish happy planner thing is that they also are doing a sticker book and again I don't love the colors they're not my favorite colors ever but they do have some really cool um, stickers that are in there and I probably won't buy it right away I will probably wait until either Michael's or Joann's or wherever they sell it at has a 50% off coupon 
and get it then um, or has just a good happy planner sale I'll probably do the same with the um, happy notes version as well because typically things do go on sale with those things fairly early so it's not a huge deal do I have a sticker that will cover that now that I've whited it out remember when I said I had an idea of what I was going to do <laughs> Oh, Jessica. Okay, I don't see anything in there, so I'm going to go to my Free Spirit, which is similar coloring, and see if I can find something in there that I like. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. These guys. These shapes. Actually, this will go really well with it, the Have a Brave Heart. Um, one reason why I wanted to use the Dream Seeker today is because a lot of the inspirational quotes in the Dream Seeker are about um, being brave and conquering fear and not letting your fears get to you. And I have been reading one of my favorite books from 2018, which is A Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. And that book really is about learning how to overcome fear and learning that letting fear stop you from doing what's important to you is the wrong way to behave. And it's very much about being brave and how you being brave can then make others be brave in return. And I really just, I, I'm loving that. I love that book. Every time I read it, I weep. <laughs> I, I was weeping again today, so no surprise there. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, also talking about planner things. So along with the bookish planner things coming out, I also ordered some stickers from, I believe it's Planning with Kay. I will link her down below as well. She sells like sticker kits for bullet journals, but her sticker kit for February, I think it was February, it might have been March, I don't know. Her most recent sticker kit is books and plants and coffee cups. It is so cute. I absolutely love it. And I think I'm going to use those for camp and I may not use them um, like as a, I should specify, for Camp NaNoWriMo. I don't know that I'm going to use them like on here, but I want, I always do like a separate like bullet journal style spread for camp and I will probably use them for that. Uh, they're gorgeous. I'm super excited about those. You know, I'm going to use this JK Rowling quote, but I really don't want to. But uh, here we are also performing sticker surgery because it's I don't want the flowers at the top. <sighs> but also I do want something. At the top to maybe not let you notice that I cut it crooked quite so much. <sighs> I think we're all used to my expert cutting skills. Like it's fine. And then you set it down and it's wrinkly and gross. Yeah, that's a JK Rowling quote. It says that right there. It says anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. And if I want to get some quotes down here. The ever popular inhale courage, exhale fear. Everyone knows that one. How about do the universe a favor. Don't hide your magic. Obviously, as a pagan, I love anything that says magic in it. I guess there's not as much in here that I really love that I thought there was, but you know, it's fine. Just another day, another nickel. Wow, heart. Ooh, I do like this brave sticker. It's pretty. It's floral. Don't tell my friends I like floral stuff. All right, let's put some flowers down here. Preferably with as few of those ugly, weird feathers as possible, but it's hard to come by. Mm 
I guess now is as good of a time as any for a shameless plug. If you missed my live show with Kate on Saturday where we discussed our most recent book club pick, we will be reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid for the months of March and April. So if you want to read that and then come join Kate and I on Kate's channel and discuss that in April, that'd be cool. Cause you know, we're all friends here. I think that's pretty much gonna do it. I do think I want this one random blue feather. And I think I'm gonna do this. do this. I'm gonna do this probably not well, but here we go. Okay. I don't know how crooked that's gonna be, but we're just rolling with it. I liked separating these last month, but the issue is that I didn't do it properly, and I probably didn't do it properly this month either, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's do three, four, five, and then cover this one. I guess I should say week. It wasn't a month. It was a week, but whatever. It's totally fine. Did I say month? Did I say week? I don't know. Do you know? Not me. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty even. I've just got these random pieces over here, so I guess I'll stick those over here somewhere. Because, you know, why waste them? Crooked. So crooked. You guys are going to love this. Look at that. Yeah. And that sound is the sound of my Discord chat starting, so I need to wrap this guy up. Alright, let's pop these back on the discs. And there you have my week for next week. Um, not filled out because it's the same thing every week. I have the exact same goals, the exact same stuff going on over here. It's fine. I hope you guys enjoy what you're going to get to see this week in my YouTube schedule. Should be a fun time for all involved, including me. I'm going to be doing a video that's going to take probably a million years to edit, but that's fine. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos, Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!